back to Final Fantasy 16. Last time we were looking for um, the stones out in the field where we were going to do the icon challenges. But when I turned the PS5 on, I, I hadn't updated my PS5 in like forever, but I got an update file for this. Whoops. And it told me that we can go, that there was redeemables? Uh, the onion sword. Uh, okay, let's claim it. That stacks nowhere even near. Like, that's less than half. Um, well, I guess, um... Where are we? We're in Clive's room. Let's go to the blacksmith and see if we can upgrade the onion sword. So what do I owe the honor? What do you want? No dice. Anything else? Okay. So I was gonna go. Or okay. So before we get into that, <clears throat> they said there was a feature here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Use the appearances option in the Arit Stone to change the outward appearance of Clive or his party members. The appearance of Clive's weapons can also be changed to that of any previously obtained weapon while maintaining the current weapon stats. Okay, cool. So what do we got? Ah, sure. Let's swap his outfit. Yeah, let's let's go with Snow White, why not? Ooh, icy blue, let's go. Yeah, man, let's get all let's get our battle bird. Yeah, we haven't really we haven't really looked at any of uh any of the swords up close. That one's got a cool kind of shape. It's kind of offset. Looks like it's bent. That rune blade, though. Whew. You know, the rune blade it looks nicer than the Excalibur. Yeah, let's make our let's make our Ragnarok look like the Onion Sword. Why not, right? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Such a joke-looking weapon. <laughs> and yeah, indeed, we still have that equipped. So, I was gonna go look for um, the other stones out in the field to do the icon challenges, but I don't. I don't really think I necessarily want to spend the next like long time doing that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to um, reset our equipment back to what we want. Well, the accessories anyway. Um, and we're, we're just going to go straight for it and beat the game. Like, we're, we're going to go through to the end of the game. I'll make a separate save, because then afterward, um, we'll probably come back in here and finish them off afterward. But we'll treat those as, like, post-game content. Because they don't give you anything. Like, they give you another accessory that you can equip that boosts that icon's specific ability. And I, I don't really feel like that's necessary for us to beat the game. <laughs> so we'll just go beat the game. Um, What do we want to equip, though? Uh, we got defense boosts, we got damage plus 5%. You know, I have to say, that's a, the Genji glove was a big letdown. Like, damage plus 5% is kind of a joke. That means for every 100 damage you do, you do an extra 5 damage. 
So when you boost that up to a thousand, ooh, that's a bit. That's an extra fifty damage. Whoop de doo. <laughs> maybe maybe early game, if you have like really really high. Um, well, you don't really have an opportunity to get high stat weapons, and grind it out. They kind of balance it so that you have you stay like pretty consistent throughout the game. So I I don't mm, I don't necessarily see the point really. Um, I don't even remember what we had equipped before. I'm not worried about these, though. Um, increases guilt earned by 35%, experience by 15. Um, let's, let's put that on. Oh, whoops, that's not the right button. So what do we got here? When equipped, time slows before an evadable enemy attack. Strikes Clive. I I definitely like that. That one that one's really nice. Um uh, let's let's auto potion. Whatever, that'll be the loadout. Okay, so let's um I guess let's head for origin then. Uh, where are we where are we going? Uh, we're going to the map, right? Um, we could check in with her and read that, but we'll we'll read all the stuff through this post game. Um, so let's open up the map and let's head for origin because like we're done all of the side quests. Um, we are done all of the hunts. We got the trophies for that. We cleared out the music box. So all we really have to do is just clear out those stones and then beat the game. But I feel like those stones are going to be, uh, they're going to be trouble. <laughs> so we can, we can tackle those post game. I am not concerned about them right now. I just, I kind of want to see the end of the game because <laughs> we've been playing this forever. Literally forever. That's really cool that your costumes actually stay through the cutscenes. It, it's too bad it only applies to, uh, like, Clive, Jill, Josh, and basically your pets. Like, it's too bad you couldn't, you couldn't, like, adjust the, uh... The You're outfits the of, like, row. all of the major characters through the There's game. no way he'd miss this. Because it'd be cool if you could, like, if you could, like, make, make Gav wear something different. Or set Mid up with something different. Or set Sid up with something different for the first half of the game while he's there. Or third, however much. I don't remember what percentage he leaves at. <laughs> Help a girl! <laughs> Charge now, Gav. And what does Taya have to say about that? Come back before she finds out, eh? <laughs> Jeez, everybody's so like downbeat, Can't like it's a funeral or something. Great. Grace, I shall pray for your safe return. They should be like a little bit That's more upbeat you. and high spirited, well, you know. You should pray he took his medicine. I didn't spend all night grinding herbs for his lordship to leave them on his nightstand again. <laughs> you needn't fear, Lady Dyer. And thank you. See that your brother comes back in one piece, or at most two. Any more, and you can heal him yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that's never stopped me before. So just you do what needs doing. 
And don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. That we will. Mm. If that is all? Not quite. Jill. It's time, isn't it? It is. Take care of him. <laughs> and you. It's too bad. We got we got these like these costume swaps and we can't even see them now. Because <laughs> he's not even coming with us. forget, Clive. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. I do. About time you got that out, dude. <laughs> it's only been the entire game. I know. I love you too. to kill. I think that's hilarious. She's like, she acts like surprised and in shock that he's gone. <laughs> that was the whole plan all along. Come on, man. I know it's all for dramatic effect, but come on, man. That's overkill. So, how does one go about getting in there? Oh, man, what is that? Oh, dang! Oh, dang! It's like playing a game of Space Invaders here. Holy crap! Oh, they should have made this into a battle. Where we were, like, cruising as Bahamut, just, like, firing away. Not, not like a 2D side-scroller like that garbage they threw us in Astria Ascending, but they could have made this into a cool cinematic, like, shoot 'em up kind of thing. It's going to make us a way in. 
Oh, okay. So that I guess that answers our question about how do we get in. He's just gonna blast us a hole. Thanks, Bahamut. That was helpful. Conveniently placed right with a lit up floor. All right. So this should be fun. Yeah, it's really dark. For Looks like a good place to have a nap. I mean, if I if I say so. Our decrepit shell, for fear that we might have need of it once again. But you have come at last, and now we shall be truly complete. Well, there's three of us and one of him. Let's make it count. I really hope Typhon makes another appearance. That would be so cool. <laughs> I love how he's just carrying us. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Ah, oh, we're merged. Oh, we got blue flame now. Oh, wait, no, that was him. I thought we merged. Ultima Prime. Kind of like Optimus Prime, I guess, but just not quite. Ow! That's not fair. We have to all share the same life bar. I want separate life bars, man. You might want to bail, Bahamut. Well, that's not good. Oh, Bahamut's gonna get wrecked.
This is not going at all how they planned, is it? Right, get a hellfire going. Triple threat. You gonna give us a match sequence here? Kind of figured that was coming. That wasn't even a battle, that was just a match sequence. And you only surrendered. This unpleasantness could have been avoided. Probably should have dodged that dude. He couldn't just throw up the shield? Oh, there goes Bahamut. Oh, dang. Nice knowing you, Bahamut. Action was that just oh <laughs> oh that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life
So we're going to have this big epic battle get smacked down, and then we're just going to sit down and chill. <laughs> Seems appropriate. All right, so now that we got our epic space battle out of the way, oh, we can't we can't turn the camera around. Okay, well, I think in the interest of time, we will call it a video here. I was expecting this to go a little bit more in depth, a little quicker, but I guess I guess we have a break in between, so we'll call it a video here for now. And next time we will head forward into the core and see what happens. So, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.